everybody, guys. Myers Adventures here, or known as Catman64. As you see behind me, we brought the Battle Bus with us today. But uh, today we're at the Rome State Park. Is where we're at today. Again, brought the Battle Bus with us because you got to bring the Battle Bus. Um, yeah, we're at the Rome State Park. Here's the big old lake. We're about to walk across the spillway. Go down there. We brought some fishing poles with us. Hopefully, we can catch something. That'd be nice. But uh, yeah, I was walking down this little trail right here. You come down here and. There's a little trail you can go down right here. It takes you to the spillway. There's a little boardwalk over there you can walk down. A big boardwalk, to matter of fact. <gasps> Excuse me, I don't know why I'm hiccuping, but I am. But uh, yeah, I'll get back to y'all when I see something interesting. So, see you then. So now we're over here at the spillway. Uh, you gotta keep back just 100 feet. I don't know why exactly, but you do have to keep back 100 feet if you're in a boat over here. Don't, again, I don't know why. I mean, it's not like it's a big drop down anyway. I don't know if y'all can see down there, but uh, it's a quite a big drop. They got one of the gates open, letting out some of the water. But it's just a little drop. But again, I'll show you something when we get to something interesting. Once you walk right down the pier, you get right down to here, and uh, you can see they're uh, flying, what's it called? Frisbee golf, I think believe it was called, or something along that long. Or the golf course, something, I forgot what it was down here. But yeah, he walk right down the pier. Yep. It does, don't it? Oh, God. Well, I was wrong. It is golf. I thought it was Frisbee golf, but that must be another park I'm thinking of. There's another park we go to that has a golf, uh, Frisbee golf as well. So, it is just standard golf up there. So, yeah. Let's just continue on to the pier until we find something interesting or catch a fish or something. Well, I kind of forgot to core, but once you get around that bend, there's a long bench right there on your left. Or your right if you're coming this way, or your left if you're going, if you're going the other way. It's right or left, whatever, whatever, you'll see it. There's a long bench right there for you to put your stuff on. You can sit and fish like you could imagine. But I've been trying to catch this fish, and uh, you just keep on coming right down here. There's a big old opening on both sides. Seen a good bit of gar, and seen some picklers, or jacks, as some people call them. And we've seen some uh, redfin bass and some regular bass. We've seen a lot of good fish and some turtles all right in here. But, uh, of course, they won't bite because it's um, in the sun. But, uh, anyway, we'll see if we can catch one. Hopefully, one might bite. Well, I didn't catch anything right down here. So, I guess we'll continue on. The pier actually goes into the woods, and it takes you to a... I forgot where it takes you to, like a picnic shelter, I do believe, or near some picnic shelters, and to the playground as well. So you just walk right through these woods right here. It's pretty nice having these cool woods to walk through. And yeah, you can't drive golf carts or anything down here. You can ride bicycles. I don't think you're supposed to, but I have seen people do it before in the past. So yeah, I'm going to see when there's something interesting pops up. But you walk for long enough, not too much of a walk. You get right to up under all these big pine trees and everything. And you walk up to the rest of the lake, and it weren't a picnic shore, it was a swimming area. That's what it was. I could not remember off the top of my head what it was, to be honest. But, uh, I think it was swimming area. I don't know. We'll just check that out in just a minute as well. But you go to this big old area right here. And, I guess you can fish and everything right around here as well. That's what we're probably going to do. All right, right down there is where the trail comes out off the boardwalk and good old view of the lake, actually. The lake is pretty pretty. It's big, too. I mean, really big. I don't know how big it is, but it's a big lake, to be honest, uh, just from just looking at it like this. Um, you see your tree right there, but uh, there's a little swing over here. I'm sure you could swing on it now, but we're probably not going to swing on it due to corona, so we're not going to swing on that. We'd spray it down if we wanted to, but uh, we forgot to bring anything. A little picnic table right here. And it is a picnic shelter right here. I thought it was, but I could not remember off the top of my head if it was a, or the swimming area. This is not swimming area. Swimming area is a little bit down the pond, just a little bit. But it's a big picnic shelter, to be honest. It really is a pretty big, actually. Um, oh, got the money day. About trip and fell right there. against the lip. But a uh, pretty big picnic shelter. A lot of picnic tables, a lot of room and everything. But and then there's a little place you can fish off of, or I really don't know what it's really for. Launching boats, maybe. But I don't think you'd launch a boat off right now. It's pretty shallow. You just gotta find somewhere good to launch it, I reckon. All right, we're on the other side of the picnic show. There's a little cove you can fish in. But once you get over here, you can see there's a, pond, a little bit of sand over here. And the big old sand for the swimming area, of course, is closed because it's winter time, of course. It's not that cold, actually, but it's closed for the winter. They have some canoes and stuff over there. I'm sure you can rent them now, but I don't know for sure. They got a little paddle boat you can rent, some John boats. Um, and I think of that shit over there is where all the kayaking pieces, the paddles, the... Um, 
life jacket and stuff like that. That's where all that's at. Some more picnic tables. So you can come and swim. Sorry, I don't know why I got hiccups so badly. So you can come and uh, when you swim, you can sit and eat and stuff like that. But anyway, here, pretty nice looking. That's Raw State Park. Uh, burn into them or carved out of them. What do you, whatever you want, however they do it. Sometimes they, I've seen people uh, carve into them and sometimes I've seen them burn it like that. It's just self preference, I guess. But uh, look pretty nice. I like that. That's pretty nice looking. And they actually look pretty good. There's two more down there, so you can use those as well. Of course, I'm not going to sit in one because of the koof koof and uh, all that going around. But anyway, let's see if we can catch something. All right, once you, there's a little bend right there. You go down the road and there's a camping area. You just stop where the Boy Scouts used to go. You come right down here and here is where you can throw your trash away, where you empty your tank, and the driveway into the campground. So let's just can show you the rest. And here are some rules in the campground about alcohol beverages and the pets must be on leashes. If you want to, pause the video and read them.